And now, stand by for adventure. Three, two, one. In the exciting story of... Exposed. It is early morning on Colonel Bleep's Zero Zero Island headquarters. And for the third time this week, space deputies Squeak and Scratch are scheduled for a practice space scooter flight to the moon and back. Space cadets, fall in. Space cadets, report. Quickly, the caveman and the puppet report their scooters have been double-checked, their flight instructions carefully read, and preparations made for all possible emergencies. But no one has noticed that during Bleep's pre-flight inspection quiz, Little Squeak had secretly kept his fingers carefully crossed. Since he had safely completed this same practice flight twice before, the puppet hadn't bothered to double-check his scooter, study his flight instructions, or even prepare for emergencies. Worse, the cocky Squeak had laughed to himself as he watched Scratch follow Bleep's flight rules to the letter. There goes the signal. Three, two, one, scramble. They're off. Already, Squeak is in for trouble, for by neglecting to double-check his scooter, he failed to notice his fuel tank is nearly empty. Luckily, however, he is able to land and quickly refuel without being seen by Colonel Bleep. By this time, Scratch was well on his way. He had studied his flight instructions and was able to avoid a heavy rain cloud which loomed directly on his course. The caveman obeyed every flying rule of outer space. Stopped at all stop signs. Waited at all space train crossings. And of course, followed all detour instructions, just as a good space deputy should. Meanwhile, little Squeak, already behind schedule, is quickly delayed again. Having failed to study his flight instructions, he is unable to avoid the heavy rain cloud. To make matters worse, his wipers bogged down from the dirt on his unpolished windshield. When, at last, the puppet recovers his bearings, good old Scratch is rounding the moon and heading back home. In a desperate effort to make up lost time, Squeak streaks for a shortcut, completely ignoring the sign which reads, Dangerous Passage, Keep Out. Too late, the puppet learns his mistake, for the cave-in traps him deep inside. At Zero Zero Island, Scratch skids to a halt to wait for his friend. As time passes, the puppet still does not arrive, and so Scratch retraces his course and finally spots the familiar cowboy hat of the little puppet. As he is fully prepared for all emergencies, the caveman is able to free his helpless companion and save him from a terrible fate. And so, thanks to good old Scratch, the careless puppet arrives at last, safe and sound, back on Zero Zero Island. With a sigh of relief, Squeak discovers Colonel Bleep is still unaware of his carelessness. But seconds later, little Squeak receives the shock of his life, for Bleep is unveiling his very latest invention, a futomic photo memorizer. With this clever device attached to the powerful radar scanner, the spaceman is able to make a motion picture record of the morning training flights. The puppet's heart is in his mouth as he watches Bleep's movie reveal each step of Scratch's flight to the moon and back. Shaking with fear, Squeak listens as Bleep congratulates the caveman on his excellent flying. Then, the colonel turns to Squeak, and the puppet faints dead away, for he knows the next movie will expose his carelessness forever. 
But Locke was still with the puppet. For Bleep had only taken pictures of Scratch's flight. Tomorrow was the day when Squeak's test would be photographed. And you can just bet that tomorrow will be different. For the puppet has learned his lesson.